Yay! <laughs> okay, let's leave this. I really hope I explained how this all worked. If I didn't, I'm so sorry. I'll explain it at some point. I'll give you a sort of a brief explanation rather than a fucking long one. Uh-huh, then we leave. Okay, so this game... Doesn't matter what happens to that game, but I'll save it. And this game... Over here. We have the level 6 tentacle. Hurrah! Let's save it. Okay. Well, I'll get out of this terrible, terrible emulator and I'll show you what we're going to do next. Okay, we're back. This is a pre-save file before I got, went and got the executes. Um, let me think. Okay. Uh... Ugh. What am I trying to do? What am I thinking now? I can't remember what I'm thinking now. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to quickly explain how that all worked, if I hadn't already. I can't remember. I think I did, but just in case I didn't, I will. So, the third move corresponds to what the Pokemon... like. Okay, so if you have two Pokemon, right? A male and a female. The same species. The Executes, for example. The third move that they have, if they both share the same third move and they breed, it should be the third move that the baby will have. The baby in this game... Uh, that execute that egg was would have um, leech seed as its third move, and because the index number for leech seed matches the index number for tentacruel, it turned into a tentacruel. Now the fourth move, it was reflect. The index number for reflect matches the same index number for the GS ball. So we got the GS ball as a hot held item, and that's how it works. The third move corresponds with what the Pokemon is going to end up being, and the fourth move ends up corresponding with the item. So, there's that. And that's how it works. And that's really cool because it's it does kind of, I think it crashes your file. I don't know, maybe you can delete that question mark thing, but I didn't want to take the chance. I've deleted that save file where we got it. I've moved the tentacruel with the GS ball over to that special save crystal that you saw. And now we're going to do the exact same thing with the Eon Mail. We're going to hopefully get Eon Mail. I have to look it up first. I don't know what move you need. So, um... Yeah, I'll look up the how to get the Eon Mail, um, and that will be the preparation and everything. And then we'll go get them. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's how it goes. And that's what we're going to do for the rest of this session. I know it's fucking been like week-long difference between each part of this session, but in the end, I'll just stitch it all together and try to make it happen. Um, so yes, apologies for the, like, the lengthy time it took to do this. It, it's It's been a bit of a hassle, but... All for a good cause. You know, this is a good cause. This is... I don't know. The GS Ball thing won't work, mind you. I've already tested it. But regardless, like, we're probably going to have to use a cheat code to activate the event that you use the GS Ball for. But you know what? We have the GS Ball, and that is what I'm happy with. And that's what, yeah, I'm, I like. And that's what I wanted to get. So, we'll get them over to our... Like, we'll get that and the Eon Mail over to our final save file later. At the moment, I'll meet you back. I'm going to go research how the fuck to get an Eon Mail. Okay, well this is actually not too bad. Wait, how many balls do I have? That's important. That's lots. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to catch two Gligers. So that's pretty sweet, isn't it? Um, sorry, an error message popped up on my laptop that's got the instructions on how to do the cloning. Anyway. Ah, I do have to set up a whole bunch of shit though. That's okay, I'll quickly set it up. So, the idea is we get the Gligar. Okay, two Gligars. I don't know what level they get to. We have to get them to level 28 each, so they both learn Faint Attack. Um... Oh, should I have to do all this again? Um, we'll put them in box 10. Anyway, so yes, once they've learned Faint Attack, then we can set it so Sand Attack... No, not sand attack. Fucking... What was that move? Quick attack. Quick attack is the third move. So they turn into a crabby. Or the baby does. And then we have... 
Faint Attack as the fourth move, and they'll get a Neon Mail. So that's pretty cool, I think. Yeah. Anyway, so with that information in mind, we have to catch two Gligers, a male and a female, and they appear any time in the day on the route directly below us. I don't actually know what route it is, I can't remember. And then we can, um, yeah, get them to level 28, if they're not already level 28. I, yeah, that's a thing. I don't remember what level they go at. So I'm going to change box to box 10. <clears throat> okay, this is good. This is really good. I'm feeling positive. Okay, let's leave this box behind. Let's go catch our Gligers. So, yeah, just down here. That's pretty cool. That's not a Gligar. Level 23 and 25, I think, is roughly the level you get Pokemon around here. I'll, I'll move down a little bit. Anyway, yeah, so we're going to do this now. Um, and yeah. I think in the end, if I want to get a scope lens, I'll have to um, do this as well. Like, do the glitch, because I don't think there's any other way to get scope lens, but that can wait until another time. I fucking hate exploiting these glitches. They give me the shits. Like, unlike the one in Pokemon Blue, this requires, like, a great deal of effort. And... And it just... It just sucks. I don't want to deal with that. Hey! Hey, you spit at me, you bastard. I don't know what's going on here. Sorry, I'm just looking at my Kaspersky on my laptop, and... Things are glitchy. Alright, sorry. It's a female level 24. That's... that's pretty good. Now comes the painful part of trying to catch the piece of shit. That ain't gonna happen somehow. Mmm. I just had a sip of my optimistic juice. Ah, good, he's got the quick attack. Yes, his baby will turn into a Krabby. Ha ha ha, you freak. You freak of nature, Gliger. Ah, oh, god damn it. Now I'm thinking I should have kept buying him off. So you know it's fucking like quick attack and sand attack and faint attack you'll learn. It's so silly. Attacks everywhere. I don't even care. Once I catch this thing with an ultra ball, I'm just gonna use the master ball on the other one because I don't wanna fuck around. Cause because this isn't gonna be our permanent save file, we can do that. Oh my god! If you poison me, good. Actually, now I know that it's not going to be a permanent save file. Ugh! I'll, I'll just level him up with fucking, um, rare candies. Oh my god! Go in the ball! That's so much damage! Alright, so Poison Sting, Sand Attack, Quick Attack, and... Harden, I think is all the moves he's got right now. I find it funny that Sand Attack, um... If you have Sand Attack as a third move, you get a Sand Slash. It's just kind of funny. I guess. I don't know. Funny to me. Probably not funny to anyone else. Probably not funny at all. This is shit. Like, this is actually depressing that I can't get this. Oh! One more. Uh, ugh. yep. One more Ultra Ball, and if it doesn't catch it, I'm going for the Master Ball. So I don't like this thing anymore. Oh, I know why it wasn't updated. Derp. Never mind. My fucking laptop won't update because it's not connected to the internet. Because 
I don't have the right driver for it and I was using an Ethernet cable. But then I moved the Ethernet cable. Haha, <laughs> what a dickhead. Whoa. Whoa, what the fuck? Huh, okay. That was, that was pretty cool. I don't think I've ever used a Master Ball on Gen 2. I've never seen that effect before. Oh, neato. I was gonna fast forward, heal up. Go in the grass. Okay, I'm gonna use the Rare Candies to get this bad boy to level 20. Um, Rare Candies, level 28. And then you wanna learn Faint Attack. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I'll get rid of Harden. And then we'll switch Gliger up here. We'll go to their moves and we'll switch Faint Attack and Quick Attack. Perfect. And now, whenever I find that uh, a male Gliger, I can weaken it and um, good times. Can I get away with that? Yeah, I can get away from that. Awesome. All right, so that's pretty sweet. I mean, if you're doing it the same way I am, honestly, I, I would just recommend just use like a get item glitch because it ain't worth it <laughs> doing all this shit. Um, I'm going to go fan attack, see what happens. Oh, that's pretty cool. That was pathetic. Okay, cool. He's weakened. I'm going to throw an Ultra Ball and hopefully it catches it. Oh my god, this preparation sucks. What the fuck? You have no health! Oh, Gligers. Don't you just hate them? Hey! Okay, there we are. No. Alright, rare candies. Let's rare candy this bad boy. Okay. He wants to learn fan attack. We'll just do the exact same thing. Delete harden. Last thing I want is a male Gliger getting hard. Actually, we should have kept harden. How's he gonna breed? No, that's okay. Faint attack with quick attack, and that should do it. I don't know if it needs, if I need to prove it or something, but well, I don't know. It should do it. I'm confident that should work. Either way, I'm just gonna save up real quick. Fast forward down here. Bang! Here we are. Awesome. Okay. Well. Oh, you know what I should do? I'm just gonna quickly check when Gliger learns the next move. Oh yeah, we're in the safe. Gliger learns his next move. Fucking like 36. So. I want you to raise this male Gliger. Maybe if you want to, you can stick its long hard tail up your butthole. Oh shit, Gooey Mess is still here. I completely forgot that I have to take Gooey Mess out every time I restart the, the game. Okay, cool. Well, we got <laughs> Gooey Mess. You can have the female Gliger and stuff it up your snatch. <laughs> 